Under Obamacare, um, there's a requirement that additional people will be covered under Medicaid, shifting some young people, children, from the North Carolina Health Choice Program to Medicaid. So there's some real implications there. It increases the number of people on Medicaid. It also um, will, will impact the cost associated with Medicaid. The more people that we have on Medicaid, the more that it costs. And North Carolina has extremely expensive Medicaid cost, and over... 10% of our population is already on Medicaid. So these have long-term, pretty significant implications for taxpayers in North Carolina. There's also been a lot of administrative problems with the Medicaid system there, in our state. Right. There was, there was an audit that was conducted in January by our state auditor, Beth Woods, that revealed that North Carolina has some of the highest administrative costs in the country. There are huge overruns on contracts that have been issued for administrative costs in the millions of dollars. Um, we consistently have overruns in Medicaid. Um, the Medicaid is the fastest growing part of our state budget. This year, this last year, it was 15 percent. Next year, it'll be 16 percent of our budget going on up to 17 percent, even with cost containment measures in place. So this is a huge driver of the North Carolina budget, and we've got to get this under control for a number of reasons. Um, the other problem with Medicaid and some of these health um, insurance and health care providers is the quality of care that the patients are getting under this kind of care. So there's just a whole myriad of problems that need to be addressed. Catherine, in mm -hmm. your portion of the presentation on this statewide tour, you're talking about Obamacare, and I'm sure people are asking you all sorts of questions and, and making all sorts of comments. Mm -hmm. What is it that you want people to walk away with? What are the one or two most important things you want people mm -hmm. to no. Well, just the fact that um, government necessarily doesn't d always provide better services or provide better resources when it comes to health care. I, I believe that people should have their own individual choice of how they wish to spend their health care dollars. And this is a huge government expansion Absolutely. In this, area. this is an absolute government takeover. It's becoming a middle class um, government insurance program. I mean, people can qualify for subsidies in a family of four if you're making over $94,000 a year as your annual household income. So it's just... It's a problem because more people are becoming, will become essentially dependent upon government insurance programs rather than choosing how they choose to spend their health dollars.